Northeast DC at the first annual Give and Go Challenge. It's sponsored by the Free DC Campaign. I'm your host, Eileen, and I'm planning to personally take you through today's events. We're gonna hear from the players, get the scoop from the coaches, and see who really got game. And it's all courtesy of the Free DC Campaign. Hey fellas, can I get your attention please? All right, look, man, first of all, I want to thank y'all for coming out, man. We're going to get everything started in a minute, but I just want to let y'all know, registration right now is for the guys that pre-registered. So if you came or your guardian or coach or whatever, pre-registered, they told you that they put your name on the list, and that's why, like, you know what I'm saying, that's what we're we, uh, dealing with first. And um, we got to get those out of the way because it's only fair. They email early, they call early, so you, you, that's what the list is about. Your name ain't on the list right now. You know, we're going to get everybody that's on the list the other way first. Then we're going to get through well. You know, hopefully we can get everybody here. So that's what that's about. That's the situation. All right? Thank you for your attention, man. Hi everybody, I'm Eileen with Free DC TV and I'm standing here with Emmanuel Bellegarde from the DC Mayor's Office. Um, how are you today? I am well, thank you for asking. Thank you for coming here to support us in an event that you know we sponsor, we're going to be sponsoring every year. What brings you out today? Well, I'm here on behalf of Mayor Adrian Fenty. Um, he's very much interested in what's going on in the community and when we got the invite to come out, I thought it was important to come out and show support for um, the hard work that's going on in here. Exactly. You mentioned hard work. It is important, and that's what we're trying to stress at Free DC. We're trying to get the kids out, you know, not just about the basketball aspect of things, but the, the education side of it, because you can't, you, you need both of them, no. something to fall back on. Why do you think it's important? Well, as you know, Mayor Fenty is a big proponent of education. You know, he's right now he's working really hard to improve the education um, system for the kids in Washington, D.C., and I think what you guys are doing, tying education into something that the kids love, which is basketball, I think it's an ingenious idea, and I, you know, I wish you guys all the luck. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Free DC. Let's get, get, get it. the boys run up and down the court all day it's all in the name of basketball so I'm gonna have the guys introduce your same introduce yourself right now What's your name? I'm Uchina I'm from Potomac I'm Zachary Giordano um, CEO one of the founders of the company I'm Janae Drone CEO one of the founders of the company of Ball America okay so guys tell us a little bit about your organization oh uh, when well, first start off um, Ball America was founded in what, November 6, um, 2007, by me and Zachary Giordano. Um, it pretty much is a mentoring academy, but we incorporate sports training and athletic and functional training. Hey, everybody, it's Eileen from Free DC TV. I'm standing here with Mr. Ernest Waiters from Oak Hill Juvenile Detention Center. Now, sir, tell me why, what made you um, come out today to support the well, in actuality, it's for the exposure for some of my players. Um, majority of them are about to leave, so we're trying to get them into activities that's going to benefit them when they re get released to the community. Okay, so you mentioned your players. Tell me about the players. That, what, what is their current status in society? Are they in the detention center? They're transitioning out. Okay. The four that I have now are on level six, 
and they're transitioning out towards the community. Okay. Hello, I'm Eileen with Free DC TV, standing here with Miss Angela Coles, head coach of the juvenile Oak Hill Juvenile Detention Center. Miss Coles, tell me what brings you out today. Well, I just wanted to come out and give my boys some support. Um, I think this is an excellent opportunity for young gentlemen in the District of Columbia, Maryland, and Virginia to be able to showcase their talents. And on another level, they probably would never even be recognized or have the opportunity to allow a college coach or any other entity to see them play. Okay. So tell me a little bit about your players. They come from, I'm sure, not the easiest background. No, I have uh, kids at Oak Hill that have committed minor to major crimes and they've been detained at Oak Hill, um, committed rather, at Oak Hill. And during their duration while they're there, I see basketball as an opportunity to change behaviors and to change a negative into a positive. Um, for me growing up, I know basketball was an outlet for me when I got frustrated with certain things in life. Being a teenager, as teenagers do, so I turned to basketball and I myself started using basketball as a as an outlet to release a lot of things. Okay. So so Free DC is basically providing the opportunity for our kids to go straight from jail in a sense, detention center, to college because we do have college coaches here. Tell me why that's important. Oh, that's absolutely important because a lot of times because the kids have the stigma of being incarcerated, they don't have this opportunity and people look at them differently. However, they've made a mistake. They are juveniles and what I try to do through my basketball program at Oak Hill is to show them that they can turn this into a positive and they don't have to let that place hold them back, that they can do something with their lives. Eileen here with Free DC TV, and I'm sitting here with Miss Lovely D. Michelle. She came a long way. Tell us where you're coming from. I'm coming from Cincinnati by way of New York okay. to DC today, so I could come out and support Free DC in this awesome project Frank Bryant started. It was a man's dream who's a former athlete himself, still an athlete in his own right, but they had a vision to plant a seed into other young youth out there that had the basketball dream and just to be up front with them, okay. Do you have what it takes to play on the next level? And if you don't, how can we help you get to the next level in life? And that's important to me. Eileen from Free DC TV, and I'm standing here with this tall young gentleman right here. Tell him your name. Uh, Travis Garrison. Tra I'm sorry. Travis Garrison. Okay. Tell me what brings you out to Free DC today. Um, my boy Frank, you know, uh, doing the whole Free DC thing, you know, uh, supporting the kids that's trying to go to college, you know, get an education do this basketball thing, so you know, I think it's big because a lot of people don't want to uh, take time out of their day to do something like this, and for Frank to come out here and do something like this, that's huge. So. All right. All right, and you must play basketball, am I correct? Oh, yeah, I play, I play here. I played at the Matha High School, and I, I went on and went to play for the University of Maryland. So okay. So why do you think it's important for uh, Free DC campaign to offer this to the youth in the city? Uh, it's huge because a lot of kids, man, you know, don't have a, a, the, the good opportunity to go to the, the good schools or to get the, the type of looks that, you know, these Catholic schools, these private schools get. So for, you know, Frank to do something like this with college schools to come out and get a, a good look at kids that never really had an opportunity, it's a, it's a big thing. So, you know, um, it's huge for them to do something like this and should keep it going. So make sure you guys remember that and keep that in your head that y'all can be more than just a basketball player. Y'all can be more than just somebody who's playing overseas or wherever y'all want to. You see what I'm saying? You've got to make choices and you've got to make the right choices. If you tell me you're going to be a student athlete, then you've got to be a student athlete. But you all are blessed. Everybody in here had skills, but not very many of you knew how to really know how to play basketball. you got great individual skills. Now, before I leave here, all I want to do is this. You got more basketball today for free than you could get by paying 150 bucks to go to a camp. You need to thank Frank Bryan and this staff for doing this. The love you give to me will free me.